All right, so I'm running the SysTech demo with IAR Toolchain. And over on the right, I can see my board that's running. I've set a breakpoint here for the SysTech handler. So I will toggle my breakpoint, toggle it again. To show that it will service the routine, a picture of my board is showing up on the right-hand side. And I will go ahead and run. And again, I'm using the onboard SDA debugger so I can see that the LED does turn on and it does turn off. So it is servicing the interrupt and it is toggling the interrupt using the IAR tools and the onboard debugger. Roman Budak. So we're back here uh, doing the same debug of the software for the SysTick. However, what we're going to do is use the LPC Link 2 board now instead, which is this low cost emulator from NXP. I installed both jumpers in order to get the emulation going and to send out the VREF. Again, I don't have the nice small header on the board. I didn't have the metric headers to put in there. So I've got flying leads with the color code. And the wire colors then come over. I installed a header on the bottom of the LPC link board so that I could just do flying wires to it. Both jumpers installed here. This jumper I had cut on the board, so I had to reinstall the jumper uh, on the board, on the Freedom board. The only gotcha between the J-Link emulator and this LPC link is that when you load it up, you'll see in the Universal Serial Bus, you see a J-Link uh, driver. That is the emulator for this LPC link. You have to read off the port number, so that's port number two. And now when I go back to my options for my debuggers, I have set up, again, the J-Link debugger. But here, when I go under settings, and the connection port 2 i want to make sure it matches what i saw under device manager if you do that you will then note that it does go ahead and it makes the right connection with the debugger starts up starts to run as a j-link emulator the breakpoint is again set to the same place it was before and i will go ahead and run it and you can see that the led goes on and then goes off. So it's trapping the instruction same way as it does with the other emulator. So all three emulators, the onboard emulator, the full-blown J-Link emulator, and the LPC link from NXP, any one of those emulators works, traps the instruction, and has it keep running under SysTick. Any other questions, let me know.
Hi, this is Roman Budak. I'm going to do a video here to show the SysTick timer interrupt working on the KL03. So this is the sample code, and I'm going to uh, set a breakpoint. You can see I could toggle on the interrupt service routine that causes the LED to blink. So the SysTick timer happens and it goes into this handler here to do the interrupt and just see if that, in fact, does trigger and I'm going to force a uh, discovery of the probes just to show that I'm using the onboard debugging probe that's on the KL board. And so I'm going to use the OpenSDA probe. Here I'm showing a video of the actual development board. And I will go ahead and execute now the code. And I can see that the LED is off on my actual board. I will go ahead and execute again. We could see that the interrupt did trigger. The LED did turn on. Interrupt triggers again and it turns off. So it is entering this interrupt service routine here, and I could obviously add more lines of code uh, to go ahead and do whatever I wanted to do, increment some counters, whatever I wanted to do. So it works with this debugger with the KL03 board. I will go ahead now and try the JLink debugger to see if I get a similar performance. All right, so I've got the same code loaded, and I have my... A development board this time I'm using the Sager emulator which you can see in the background here the J-Link emulator I didn't have a header 1.27 millimeter header I'm out of those so what I did is just hooked up some discrete wires and I'm using the probe with discrete wires you could see that in the video and so what I'll go ahead same software again for the interrupt and so I'm gonna go ahead and execute the code and I will do a uh, hold down shift to make it rediscover the probe. Finds the J Link probe. And I will go ahead and set a breakpoint down here at the interrupt routine. Make sure it's set. All right, it is set. I mentioned there is my board, my Sager J-Link emulator. LED is off. My board is powered up. I will go ahead and execute the code. Stops at the breakpoint, which I had set. Run again, the LED, you can see, turns on, and it'll keep toggling every time I execute it. So again, inside the Sysstick handler, I should be able to put in anything else, counters, anything else that I wanted to update. So Sager emulator, as well as the onboard emulator, both work with I'm Roman Budek. So what I have now is a third emulator, which is the NXP LPC board. So that is actually a low cost uh, Sager emulator. Again, I don't have the header stuffed on my board. I did not have the 1.27 millimeter headers. So what I've done is just gone to discrete wires with these little clips. I found that to be the most reliable. And then using a header off of the main board of the LPC Link 2, not using this ribbon cable here, which would have made it very uh, easy to use if I had that 1.27 millimeter cable to stuff. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and run the code. I'm going to hit Shift and Debug to make it look for a new probe, which should now be a Sager probe, but it is the LPC Link 2 board. And it warns me to use the NXP devices only, so I'm going to accept that. And what I'm going to do is go down here and make sure that my breakpoint is set. So it is set for the right point, same point as last time. I go ahead and run it, and I see that the code trap, the LED did not turn on. 
I execute it and you can see in the corner up there the red LED does turn on. So again, it is running, it is trapping inside the Sysstick handler. Any other questions, let me know.